Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour. And I am pumped. Today we are touring the island of Pinecone. And Pinecone fits all the criteria that just makes me so happy in this game. Number one, it is a quiet little town. Number two, it is centered around their high school. Number three, it is set in fall during their fall festival time. So I am so excited. It is also created by the amazing Storybrooke AC&H. So definitely go and check them out. So you know it's going to be a good island. Let's not hesitate. Let's get right into it. Let's take a look at our map. So there's a definite residential area-ish. It's kind of strewn throughout the left side of the island with the main house being at the very, very back. There is some uh, landscaping going on. I do see quite a few inclines, very few waterways that I can see in this island. I'm excited to see what they've done. Uh, let's check out the villagers. We have Blair. Marshall, Poppy, there's Ellie, Maple, Deirdre, Kiki, there's Lucky, Eric, and Bones. And of course, the dream address is down at the bottom. So if you want to come on and tour along with me, that's amazing. You can save it for a later date. It'll also be in the description along with all the creator's information. So you can go and check them out as well. Enough talking. Let's get into Pinecone. And coming right out of the airport, you're greeted by these beautiful trees and falling leaves and pumpkins and a pile of gifts. Now, I tried to dress appropriately for the island, knowing that it was kind of centered around the high school, like one of those small high school towns. But there are gifts, so let's see what we have. I don't even have to open them because they're all clothing. A cheerleader uniform, yes. The pleather sneakers, we've got that. There's football pants, a giant ribbon, football cheer megaphone. Oh, that's amazing. Football shirt, football helmet, and a protein shake. Oh, well, I'm already fully dressed in the cheerleader uniform, so I was feeling where they were going with this, but I do want to carry around the megaphone because that is one thing that I could not bring along with me so yay okay we are all set we are ready to rock let's check out pinecone I'm thinking we're going to the left today because that's our huge let's go down right by the water oh this is right where the museum is and I love how they've turned it into this like little quiet farm stand area. This is so cute. You've got all the pumpkins and the vegetables and then you've got the dirt path leading out down towards the water. What a cute way to integrate the museum. And again, oh, they've got little picnics set up outside. Pumpkins everywhere. We all know that yes, it is summertime, but we are all already getting into that fall feeling and there's something about fall islands and the pumpkins everywhere i don't know it just it makes me so happy let's continue over the bridge and we come to our first i don't know this is a house it is a big house this is a very very expensive house and oh look at the path on the ground with the leaves down there that's so pretty but i love the layering of all the different elements. There's even a tree up high in the background, if you can see that, in behind the house. So there is like so much height going on and so much layering, and that's so pretty. Now you've got the little shed. Oh, apparently we're going for a sleep. <laughs> Roll off, Poppy. <laughs> you've got the little shed in behind or beside the house as well for the lawnmower and all the garbage cans and whatnot. That is just too cute heading down. I love that it's got that little small town feeling to it. It's got the little roadways, all the houses are kind of together, but they're very, very quaint. Quaint little village is the word I'm looking for, but you've got the little basketball net set out here and just a simple beach area. So if you're these, this house that lives right on the beach, you've got this amazing little setup. Could you imagine 
sitting here every night just by the water listening to the waves having a little marshmallow roast and the customs they're so cute we do have the leaf piles obviously they're in use here but i love that there's just scattered leaves all over the beach oh and there's maple and little ponds with the ducks in them like that is just the cutest I love that. You've got the little logs out front. Unfortunately, this villager isn't home, but look at how adorable that is. Then follow the little dirt street. Oh, look at their yard. Not only do they've got that whole little beach area, but they've got their little deck set up in the back too. That is too cute. The little pool. Oh, I love that. And then right on the beach. Beaches are fairly simple, obviously, because everything that we need to see is going to be going on inside the island. Let's continue up the street, down another, and we do have a villager home. And look, again, I don't know if it's the color of the trees or the way they're all put together, but it's just so quaint and so cute. Oops, sorry. Let's go inside. It's Poppy's house, and the houses look like they're done exactly as the villagers moved in in them, which is perfectly fine. I mean, this is probably the most fitting house I've ever seen for an island like this. It's got that fall theme. Poppy obviously loves her stuff the way it is. So let's head back out into the island. We are back outside, and we are following the streets going up they're really oh this one even has a backyard this is the big mansion house that we saw previous and it's got this big backyard in the back and i love that the ground is covered in leaves it's the little details and that's so good we're following up the streets again to more of the residential area oh there's the island owner let's say hello annie hello. war eagle they're all about the high school in this town. This little town is focused around their high school and their sports team, and I love that. It's just so small town, and it's amazing. I love the yards, the fences. It's so cute. What do we have here? We have another house. I love this. I love the curtains, the curtain partition, the pattern on it. I don't know, the orange colors. It all just blends together. Then you've got the rocking chairs with the little cups of coffee sitting on the front stoop. I mean, how small town is that? That is so cute. The bike parked out there, the little football, because again, we're all centered around the sports teams on this island. Oh, it's so good. Let's head back following the streets. I also love the ease of the streets it's so easy to follow the paths and yet everything in between them is so decorated we have another villager house and it's just so ready for fall there's pumpkins everywhere you've got a pumpkin patch you've got pumpkin tables pumpkin stools i love that they even have the pop open jack-o-lanterns turned around i love that because they add so much I, I don't know. I, I mean, I want to say dimension because the sizes are so big. So you have the small ones you pick. You have the stacks. You have those ones that are a bit bigger in size. It's just so good. This villager's home. Let's see if anything has been done. I'm going to say this house is in the original form but i'm actually loving the orange color because again it's, it's very fitting with the whole theme of the island i love it back down following our path which makes it very very easy to navigate this whole residential area you come across and you have more of the villager housing. They are not home. But look at this little town. It's so good. Oh, look at this house. 
You've got the rocking chairs up on the little upstairs porch so you can come out of your room and just sit and watch the world go by. The yard is so cute. We're right behind the museum. Such a cute little yard. You've got the little wagons. There's so much detail. Like, if you go up and, like, pan up, Look at how much detail is on the ground. It's actually amazing. In little areas that you think you wouldn't see, like the little scarecrow that's in behind the wagon. So cute. And then up here, more of the villager housing. They are not home either, but again, easy to navigate streets. Then you go past this cute little house and oh, Oh no, every little town has that one house <laughs> that's like falling apart that all the kids... This is the one you break into on Halloween and you like scare yourself and even though there's, you know, nothing, nothing scary about it. It's just an old dilapidated house. It's, it's that one. You throw rocks at the windows. Obviously, they have been destroyed. I love the design though and I love the customs right down to like the... The kind of mossy mold growing on the bricks. And then you've got the windows all boarded up. Except for the broken ones. That's actually really cool. And I love that they added that to the island as well. Following. Oh, I can go up. But I feel like we haven't finished down below. I'm trying to get section by section here. Because we all know if you watch any of my videos. I tend to get very ahead of myself. And I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to finish this residential area before oh I think I might have done it I think we might have yes okay I'm proud of myself one more stop for the houses the, the whole little neighborhood area the little village area is just so cute let's head up then and go to the next level past the old dilapidated house and we are up a level and oh how pretty is this this is such a park like setting right here and it really and truly is they've got the basketball court set up it's all covered in fallen leaves this is where nook's cranny is i love the balloons everywhere outside and then the pumpkins set up it looks like it's ready for some sort of sale or part of the festival just so cute. And then going down. Oh, my goodness. When they say it's a sports-based town, like uh, school-based, I wasn't expecting a ginormous stadium. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. Look at the bleachers. Are those dressers? They are. They're the step dressers. That is so genius for these seats. You've got the microphone. You've got the water. You've got the speakers. The helmets. Oh, you've got the water coolers in the back. This is crazy. Let's use our little megaphone. Yes, that is amazing. This is... Wow. Very, very cool. I'm kind of obsessing over the stadium right now look at that that is so good it is so layered you've got the flags in the back you've got the stairs leading up into the bleachers so that you can watch the game that's so good that is amazing i love that and then I just, again, don't want to miss anything. So heading back into this beautiful park-like setting. I do see a bridge, so I don't know. Oh, it's leading to the rest of the villages on this side. Oh, how cute. They're not home, but I love the ease of the streets. This villager is home, and I love how they're all set up for fall. Fall is like one of my favorite favorite seasons on this and I think it's the same for a lot of people it's just so beautiful but this villager's home let's check it out it's Deirdre's house and just like Poppy her house is very very fitting it is in her original form but again super super fitting for the island and the time of year I love it and I'm sure she does too
So if we are up a level and I am correct. Oh, more villager housing. I'm going to say. Is this the one we were at? It is. I didn't even know you could take the path all the way through. Love that. There's little maple. But this should bring us, yes, to the rest of the villager housing. And they are our home. I'm going to just assume that all villager housing is in its original form. If I am wrong and you come visit, come tell me. <laughs> Look at these streets. And the leaf-covered ground and the colors. But we did finally make it to the main house. I love the football on the ground by the dropped letters by the mailbox. Again, little custom details make it for me. I mean, I think the stadium made it for me. That was insane. I can't wait to see the actual high school. I'm assuming it's around there, and I did that thing where I get ahead of myself. But I am excited to see it. But we are the main house, so let's see if they've done anything with that. And they have. This is giving off very much school office vibes. You've got the desks all set up. You come in, you got the copy machine. It's got the Halloween decorations hanging on the walls. I love the simple panels that people use as little door blockers. So you've kind of like half shut the giant wide openings that are the separate rooms in this. But this is cute. But it, yeah, I could be wrong. I'm usually pretty right on this, but we'll see. I think I think this might be like a school setting. Definitely an office. I think I am 100% correct because this looks like science class. You've got all the little microscopes set up, the little anatomical model in the back, if I said that correctly, all the posters on the wall. You've got the little sardine I think that is floating around in the tank I love that so definitely science class oh there's even a bug that escaped and is on the floor the science class oh this looks like the teacher's lounge 100% or nurse's room maybe nurses no this is like the nurse's room I didn't see the medicine cabinet in the back and then I saw the little bed set up and then the little first aid box this is like the nurse's room so when anything happens this is where you come when you're not feeling good oh it's even got the little uniform hanging on the wall oh that's cute definitely nurse's room okay now we have like a classroom that's like computer lab you know when you used to go oh Look at all the backpacks hanging on the wall. So cute, but definitely a computer lab classroom. Love it. I love all the little Halloween decor all over the walls. It's very much so giving off school. <laughs> so cute. Upstairs is set up for like the Halloween party, Halloween dance. Okay. The little pictures on the wall. Oh, that's so cute. You got the pictures of Jack everywhere, which are amazing because they actually have that movement and that glow in them. And then the stage flame machines. I love all the Halloween items in here. But the balloon arches work so well when you turn them around. This is so cute. The lit up counters in the front. This is definitely set up for like their little Halloween party. Oh, it's so cute. I was kind of hoping to find a locker room, and this does not disappoint. I love the footballs everywhere. All the jerseys hung on the lockers, the helmets everywhere. Oh, this is so good. The trophies everywhere. So obviously they are a winning team here, but this locker room is perfect. I was so going down the stairs thinking there has to be a locker room. This is amazing. For an island that's centered around the high school and the sports team in the stadium, I'm so happy that there is such a detailed locker room in this house. This is amazing. I am so happy 
that that was like high school based. That that made it for me. Knowing what the island's all about, that's phenomenal. Head back the way that we were through the street. Sorry, Bones. Back over the bridge and it looks like we have come across a fall farm. Oh, is this like a, a maze or is it just like an amazing setup with the hay? This looks like this is set up for some fall festival. This looks like an old farmhouse, old farmyard. You've got the hay set up. You've got the carriage set up and then the little orchard area. This is so cute and I love, love, love the Halloween decorations that are being used. They're just, they're so cute and they don't get old and I absolutely adore them. And I love that there's like the quilted pattern on top of the stands, all the leaves on the ground, the pumpkins everywhere. This is so cute and I'm guessing a major part of their fall festival. So good. Continuing back down and around and going by that stadium again. I can't get over the stadium. Just look at that view. It's so good. One more time, just because it's so good. <laughs> the sports stadium is everything. But let's continue our little tour through the back. Oh my. What is this? This looks like a library. 100% this is the library connected to the school. You've got the bikes parked out front. You've got all the books. You've got the book return in the front. Love that. Definitely a library. And then in behind. Oh, look at this. This might act. This is the school. 100% this is the high school right beside where the stadium is. Oh, and it's all set up for their little fall party. Look at the front of it. It almost looks like they're ready for a celebration, like they're gonna win the big game and this is where they're coming back after. And it's just, that's so pretty. And I love the mix of simple panels with the medieval building sides, the castle walls, being able to integrate the old and the new because the castle walls and the medieval building sides are amazing and they've made it so that we can create so many more things. But there's something about using the panels still with the customs on them that just make it. And this is so good. Oh, I love this. But the whole little area set up for like the celebration after the game is just phenomenal oh and this is where the campsite is i saw the little divot in the ground and you just take a little ladder and this is where the campsite is so they've got it nice and hidden kind of on this little chunk of beach over here but i love that it's fully accessible i just can't get over this this is so good the little celebration area you've got the high school in the back so amazing and it's such a huge build but to be expected because this whole island literally is centered around this small town small high school town the sports team the stadium oh i'm in awe it's just beautiful and the colors are just working for me just want to make sure we don't miss anything we saw the library oh there's more down there oh what is this? Is this like a little... The There's like popcorn and snacks. Oh, this is a concession stand. I was like, I don't see a movie theater. Now it, it makes sense now. This is your little concession stand area so you can come in and get your snacks before you go down and into the stadium and watch the game. Oh, I love that. And the little, yeah, drinks and concession stands so that you can get what you need before you go down and watch the game. Love that. And then we go down a level. Wait, was that the high school? Or is this a high school? Was that a continuation? Was that just a really big building in the back? Because this is also giving off the high school feeling. There's the book in the front, and then the little railings going up to the stairs. Is it multiple buildings and offshoots? Like, is this 
Is it a high school or is it like a university? I'm pretty sure the description said high school. This is feeling high school. I don't care. Whatever it is, the builds are amazing. The buildings, the colors, the customs. The pumpkins everywhere. I'm just in awe and utterly obsessed. Now you've got more old little like farmhouse buildings set up. Little old style houses kind of tucked in and behind. And up top is where you find Able Sisters. Oh, can we get Able Sisters from somewhere else? Is there more accessible pathing? There is from where the library is. Again, the paths on this island are also so easy to navigate. There's no getting lost. And it gives you the ability to see everything. And you want to see everything. It's just done so nicely. The small town feeling that it gives you that's like warm and cozy, I'm telling you, is real. I just... It just feels so wonderful. Oh, and you've got this little pond area to sit. I love little water customs, and I love that it's all kind of full of pebbles and rocks, and you can tell it's just a shallow little pond where the ducks come and sit. And again, another offshoot building. It's There's so many big buildings on this island, and they're all beautiful, but all related to, like, the massive... High school. Now, I went to a tiny high school, so not one where you had to go from, like, little building to building, but I love this. Their builds are incredible. Oh, and more of these little natural areas with the ducks and the rocks and the ponds, and there's Blair walking right through the water. You've got all the bicycles everywhere from the kids going to school. I'm going to say this is all interconnected. This is like one big high school campus for sure. Different buildings, different areas, and it's so amazing. They've done such a phenomenal job with this. I feel like I'm part of this town. It's so cute. I love the mix of the natural too with... The little like city, well, not city, village area. Like there's so much nature included. The little soccer field on the beach. The beach is again pretty simple, but everything that you need and want to see is definitely on the interior of this island. Look at how pretty this is. Just the landscapes are gorgeous. Time of year, the way the builds are, the school. Oh, how cool. This would be one of those islands that would be so amazing if there was like a little hidden pipe in any of these areas. Maybe there is and I didn't see it. No, because I didn't see one by the house. But a little hidden pipe that took you from one of these buildings on the campus and brought you into that actual school that is the main house because it has all the classrooms and the locker room. But this is so good. This whole island is just gorgeous. It's so mapped out well. The customs are phenomenal. The football field, the stadium is fantastic. All the areas on the little campus are so good. The residential area is set up so nicely. I love all of the yards and just how rustic and cute they are. This definitely gives you that like warm, cozy, small town, everybody knows everybody feeling. There was the dilapidated house in the back that every tiny town has. That's like, it's a must. Every, every town has one. And I love that they added that. They've got some of the bigger houses, some of the smaller. It's just beautiful. It really is amazing. I had such an amazing time touring it. Storybook ACNH always does an amazing job. This does not disappoint. Highly recommend you come and walk around and get a feel for it. Just go into the stadium and play around. Like, it's such a cool area. The, the whole campus is amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and my tour here. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. If you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And you guys know, thank you so, so, so much for all of your support. All the likes, all the comments. It literally means everything to me and as always you know i am definitely going to be back with more animal crossing videos